you can configure many of VS Code settings related to the basic editing experience on a per-language basis. Say that I wanted to enable word wrapping in Markdown files, but not in my normal code files, for example. To get started, I'm going to open up my settings here and then switch to the JSON view of this setting just by clicking on this icon up here. And now I can go ahead and in this JSON file, create a new section that is going to define language specific settings. So language specific settings are defined using the language name wrapped in uh, braces here. So I'm going to say TypeScript and it's wrapped inside the brackets. And inside of the object literal here is actually where we define the language specific settings. If I trigger IntelliSense, you can see that these are all the language specific settings are, that are available. Not every setting can be configured per language, but ones like rulers, for example, can be. And let's go ahead and set this to 40. And you'll see that no rulers have been added in this JSON file. But if I go ahead and switch to this TypeScript file, now there's rulers that are showing up on line 40. You can also um, configure this so that all files except the TypeScript files have rulers. So language specific settings override um, the global settings. So now I've configured all files to have rulers on line 40, for example. And then in TypeScript files, we've reset the rulers to be an empty array. And sure enough, when I switch to this TypeScript file, there's no rulers that are showing. Let's go ahead and configure that markdown specific setting. So I'm going to go ahead here and then inside the uh, brackets here to say markdown. And you'll notice it automatically filled in some settings. These are the language specific settings that VS Code ships with enabled by default. I'm just going to change this to word wrap to be word wrap on a column and then word wrap column, I'm going to set to 80. And sure enough, when I switch over to the readme file here, you'll notice everything is wrapping at line 80. If I go to a TypeScript file, find a long line here, it is not wrapping here at all. You can use language specific settings to control your editing experience on a per language basis. If you're working with multiple languages, you can really optimize each one to your workflow.